always won one of those great, you know, kings in the end attacking games, and then, you know, like, you go over it, and he was, like, losing almost from start to finish, <laughs> and then happened comes this great finish by Hikaru, and sometimes, you know, you have to take a great deal of risks, and uh, Wesley has always shown that ready to burn any bridges, as there you see uh, a great shot from the playing hall of the players. Yes, I would bet, like now, since we are looking at the game between those two mentioned, well, I would bet for E6, Definitely. which is the most no. solid reply, and no that question about it. Suits. It's already a kind of an achievement for Andre that uh, Wesley didn't go into his really, let's say, you know, most uh, tough defense. The Queen's Gambit accepted a lot many players have been able to show advantage in the Queen's Gambit accepted and you guessed it, uh, you know, E76. A lot of times you see a player like Wesley So who's playing these most solid, solid, solid systems, you know, just across the board, whether it be E4, E5 and what have you, and then you see their history as a junior. Yeah. Their <laughs> it's like, okay, it's no, but it's very interesting. You know, if you compare, for example, like the style of Wesley So and yeah. even the style of Geary, even though I think Geary became a little bit more aggressive, dynamic in the past years, he used to be actually, in my opinion, even more solid than he is now. Now he takes more risks, um, I believe. You know, but Sicilian, whatever. Yeah. But I mean, like, if you compare it to Gukish or to Brock, you know, they are always all go in. I mean, they have a very aggressive style, and also, like, compared to Vincent, who is also like the solid type of uh, player, it's interesting to see which style actually is turning out to be a successful one in order to win tournaments. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, where I am concerned is in America, and I grew up on the Swiss tournament. And in the Swiss tournament, literally, you have to score five and a half out of six, or, you know, six and a half out of nine. You have to really have a very, very high score, and that requires you playing for a win with white, with black, with green, with yellow, any color you have, you have to play for a win. And a lot of the American um, players um, literally play these incredibly risky lines. And then we come to the round robin tournaments, the top what we would call European events, where literally uh, almost a risk-free approach is what is rewarded best. You, you, you can't always play for a win in Yes, I game. agree, but it depends really on the opponents, right? Yes. I remember like there was a tournament in Gibraltar when it was still running frequently every year. Yes. And Anand took place in this tournament. Yes. And he had problems in this kind of Swiss format because he was not used to play openings where he puts great risk. Yes. And then he realized if he plays against 2500 or 2600, he wouldn't win if he goes for his kind of solid approach. And he even, I think, stated later in the interview that it was very tough for him to suddenly change his mindset because when you play in these top events, yes. you have to play very solid and it's fine to make a draw. But if you want to win a game, you have to be totally different.
yes. So, so he's saying to the arbiter, you have a 30 move rule, but I would like to claim a three time repetition. My intention is to play the move knight on a5 to c6, says Wesley, and that will be four. Yeah. <laughs> and it is four times. But nowadays, you know, like you cannot just decree the draw, you have to call the arbiter. Yes. And you have to get his permission that it is correct. I mean, according to the rules that you have at least three times. Yes. Because if you 